Do you need a table in your app? Well, Experience Builder definitely has your back. Once you add a table to your canvas, click on New Sheet and then select your data set. Once you select your data set, you can change the label of your tab to something more meaningful. And by default, all of the fields are selected to be shown in the table. So we want to use this drop down to deselect all the fields and then choose the ones we want to keep, which are organization, fire ID, fire name, cause, year, we'll do fiscal year, and total acres burned. As an added bonus for flexibility, we can click to choose to allow editing directly in the table, but I'm gonna keep that turned off for this demo. We can allow users to search for specific fire names or fire IDs by turning on those fields in the search. And we can also allow users to select manually multiple records within the table. We only have one sheet for this demo, but if we have more than one sheet, there are two different arrangement styles. We could choose a drop down style or the tab style. I like the tab look, so I'm going to leave that setting as it is. We also want to show only the points that are visible in the map extent within this table. So we need to select the map widget and under the action tab, add a trigger. We're going to choose when the extent changes, our framework will filter data records. Once we select all wildfires as the action data, we're good to go. So when we save and preview the application, you can now see that as I zoom in and out, the records in the table change to only show those fires that are in the map extent. You'll also see that in the right-hand corner, there's an actions button. If we click on this actions, there are further data actions that can be taken, such as exporting all the records. If you've enjoyed this video, please press the like button below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for content updates.